What if you want to work with the most up-to-date information available on the internet in your AI application? Working with Gemini can provide some pretty relevant information, but not always the most up-to-date. Huh? Well, fortunately, we recently added a Gemini feature that allows you to ground your inference with Google search results. This means that you can now connect the AI model to real-time, publicly available web content to provide more accurate and up-to-date answers. You can also cite verifiable sources beyond the knowledge cutoff. So if you are a Gemini 2.5 Pro user, you can now access information beyond January 2025. Let's take a look at how this works and some of the requirements for displaying the grounded results. I have an app that I built that uses Gemini 2.5 Pro to help me outline a blog that I want to write. I can then use this outline to guide my writing experience. For this blog, I want to talk about the history of full text search in Firebase and highlight the recent announcement about it from IO Connect Bangalore. I will open my app and put in my blog idea. Firebase full text search, a history. Include the announcement about full text search made at IO Connect. After a couple of seconds, we can see that we get results that talk about the history of it, but without any reference materials and without the most recent news announcement from IO Connect Bangalore. Let's power up this app with Google Search. To add Google Search using Firebase AI Logic, it's a one-line change. Here, we add the Google Search tool to our available tools in our Git Generative Model Call, and we are done. Once we add in this line, let's hop back to our presentation and check out the results. As you can see, once we run the new inference with Google Search results, you can see that we now have results that reflect the latest news from the IO Connect conference. Does this mean that we are ready to ship the app? Nope. I need to add in these search suggestions, which is part of a requirement for using grounding with Google Search. This also helps users continue their search for information to validate their queries. In order to display the required Google search suggestions, our response will contain a rendered content property that contains all the information to render a Google search bar with some suggested chips for searching. To render this, we can set the inner HTML of a div element to the rendered content value that we get back from our search query. Let's try this again and see how the results look. As you can see, we have this nice suggested search bar that gets rendered to our app which means that if the user of my app wants to validate the results themselves, they can easily continue the search for information and jump straight into Google search results as well. This is looking good, but what if we wanted to help our users even more? Well, we can add links to reference material and sources in line by using the grounding metadata from our generate content response. This way, when our users want to validate a claim that the LLM made, they can go straight to the source for that line of text in the response. Let's break this down line by line on how to add these references in. I made a prompt to the model requesting that responses be in Markdown, so I grabbed that content response here. I then grab the grounding supports from the output. These are the chunks of text in the output content with a reference to the source that supports these chunks. This all has a reference to where in the output response text these chunks are supporting. These come with a starting index and an end index. So if I want to highlight entire lines or call out that these lines are supported by a website or search result, I could do that here. I then grab the grounding chunks object, which contains our sources that were used in grounding. These are referenced by the grounding supports object. From here, I grab the chunk index from the grounding support, which shows which source to reference in the response. I also grab the end index, which is the position in the output string where I want to insert a reference for this supporting artifact. I then reassemble my markdown string, inserting a markdown link to the supporting content at the end of the supported chunk. And just like that, we can generate a link at the end of certain lines, highlighting the source material that references that content. I think this app is ready to ship and help users gain a deeper understanding of the content. That was our deep dive on Google Search Grounding with Firebase AI Logic. This feature request was brought to us by Firebase User Voice, a website where you can vote and bring up feature requests you would like to see in your favorite Firebase products. 
With that, if you want to learn more about Firebase AI Logic, check out the documentation linked below. I am Noe, and I cannot wait to see what you build next. <laughs>